Hey everybody, it's Star Andrew Strong, HG Activist. I wanted to record this quick video. I'm not going to edit this, but I wanted to upload it into my Facebook and just say to everybody, thank you for all of your prayers to me and Robert with everything going on currently in our lives. As you guys know, my mom has cancer that has metastasized and things have been extremely, extremely stressful here. And she ended up breaking her hip, right, in two different spots and had to have surgery. And then they sent her to like a skilled nursing center that abused her. These people would yell at her, cuss her out, tell her shut the fuck up. Um, they're ugly. I mean, horrible things. Major traumatizing. And she ended up having like bed sores and her foot had like these gigantic fluid filled blistering and and to see my mom like that rock bottom where she was looking at me like a little kid it just it was hard it was so emotional and it was really really hard for me and Robert and we have like taken a break from social media because so much has just been going on you know everybody's lives have changed since COVID you know and I'm trying to get YouTube videos up. I'm still trying to finish my book. I have the whole first part done and the second part I gotta put together. I have to find somebody that's actually willing to sit and help me for volunteering time to put everything in order. So if you're watching this video and you wanna help me with getting my book done, please contact me because my knowledge is, you cannot put a power or a price tag on that. And in my book, I'm going to have, like, detailed different types of care plans. I currently am not writing care plans. I used to, but I can't. I can't. Due to my health and my mom and our daughter, Robert and I are just going through a lot right now. And I can't. I still run my crisis line. And you guys can call that, text it anytime. Don't use the 714 number. Either use the 909 or the 951. Either works. 909-261-1111. I'm always here, you know, to help you, to advocate. Currently, I, I need help with mods in my HG before, during the aftermath group. If you're interested in that, comment, let me know below. Follow our YouTube. I'm trying to edit. It's hard for me because I'm a perfectionist and I like everything perfect. And I know things can't be perfect, but... It's just something of mine that I have to like learn to let go of. I'm drained, Robert's drained, and things have just been absolutely stressful here. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say it's been a walk in the park because it hasn't. It hasn't. And she's on at home with us on hospice, and Robert is sitting here, but we take turns with her. It's very hard to deal with your parent that has like dementia it's stressful it's hard on everybody and it's draining especially when you're chronically ill it's even worse I had to recently get a new ride wire because my line came out like once again my body for some reason just rejects my lines and so my scrint, my skin doesn't grow over what's up in here called the cuff. So you have your line and there's a white piece that's in there called the cuff and your skin is supposed to grow over it, right? To block it so that way you don't get infection. But for somebody like me, my skin doesn't grow over it. So I use what's called a secure cuff. I'll put up in the cards when I, if I put this video too on YouTube, you know, or direct you in a link for this for Facebook, of dressing changes that Robert has done with and without my secure calf device. I highly suggest having a secure calf. I mean, it should be standard in vascular access care. I would never want anyone that I'd love to have a line without one. You know, it's a godsend, especially with people like me with mast cell and allergies and allergic to the world. And, you know, they don't sell like a bubble I can live in at Walmart on sale. If you see one, let me know. We're managing, and I really just want to say thank you all for the support via through our website, through 
Messenger, WhatsApp, Zillow, all of it, and that. We love you guys dearly. Thank you. And I'm going to try to upload to YouTube. It may be all in different orders and things may be a hot mess, but, you know, I need to get that content up there, but I do need somebody to help me with my book. And if there's anybody out there, even just sharing, just know this. Sharing is caring, but by sharing our videos, you're saving other people's lives. You have to remember, knowledge is power. And power is the key to getting good care, good treatment. Nobody is going to fight for you but you. You have to remember that. Whether you're in the before, the during, or the aftermath, you know? If Robert and I knew what we knew now, when I had HG, I wouldn't be this sick. But unfortunately, this is the path that God gave us. He feels that we were strong enough to live it. And it's hard. It's not easy being chronically ill even 11 years later. Our daughter just turned 11. And our girls have, like, grown up way too fast. And I said, daughter's, like, completely an adult and, like, towers over me. I have to look up to her like she's my mama and I'm the kid. <laughs> and Kara's taller than me. It's insane. This is kind of just like a rambling video but I wanted to just get a video up to let you guys know so my YouTube is star Andrew strong HG activist HG activist life um, so subscribe to it if you could help me with my book or know someone that may help me I have my blog our website crisis line all of that and again thank you all for the support I'll give you guys more of an update later but I just really wanted to make this video that I've been, have not had time because Robert and I have just been trying to take shifts. And when you're chronically ill already, it makes it so hard. Robert's making a card for my dad, for Kikara, to give my dad because it's his birthday. My mom just turned 70 on the 4th. And my dad's 70, what, 3 or 4, I don't know. Kiara asked him today if he was 100. Because Grandpa's like, guess how old I am? She goes, 100? He goes, close. She goes, 250 years old? <laughs> I mean, but I just really wanted to thank you all for praying because it really means a lot to us. And I hopefully will have some videos scheduled soon and about line care about advocating each story um, feeding to videos if you have a requested video that you want more information about and if it's regarding the three aspects of HG, the aftermath you know, let me know I appreciate it we all appreciate you she can't let me finish nothing that means <laughs> I don't get sleep <laughs> it's the birthday card for dad Okay. Yeah. This is what it says inside. And this is drawing for Kiara to give for Grandpa for his birthday. It seems like this one that I glued and couldn't open again. That's it. There we go. Roll the outro. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you for your prayers. Ta ta for now.